Well, Senator Mark Kirk is a former Navy intelligence officer. He says it is time for the White House to take a tougher stance with Russia. We want to talk to with him about that and much more. Senator, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me, uh, Shannon. All right, let me ask you, do you have any doubts or where are you in this continuum of, of deciding just how culpable Russia is or isn't with shooting down this Malaysian airliner? And if you do think no it's doubts about Russian guilt here. Uh, so where do we go next? No doubts about Russia. Uh, we should uh, uh, we should now start the process of liquidating Russian assets inside the United States to pay the American victims uh, or victim who uh, who lost their lives in this uh, tragedy to make sure the Russian oligarchs always know it's going to cost them hundreds of millions of dollars in their overseas accounts to uh, allow an action like this. We need proper command and control of Russian air defense assets. How concerned are you about these reports that there are separatists who are taking bodies from the scene, taking evidence and personal effects from the scene? Um, you know, <clears throat> there's been a, a big dispute about access there to international investigators and people who would oversee this. What role can we play or should we be playing with those concerns mounting? I would guess that the uh, Russians are now in the middle of a full-blown cover-up to make sure there's nothing on the site that would indicate Russian active duty uh, uh, compl complicity in this crime. All right, I want to uh, talk with you about something that's also uh, a, a very complicated relationship. We have Russia. We have these delayed talks with Iran now over its nuclear program. The fact that we need Russia's cooperation or help with regard to those talks, and obviously a lot of tension between us and them at this point. First of all, your reaction, uh, were you surprised at all that there was an extension to these talks now into November? Remember, the key thing about the extension is uh, the United States have provided a four-month extension to uh, Iran after Secretary uh, Kerry testified before the Senate that Iran was only about two months away from uh, atomic weaponry. And you had been uh, working on a bipartisan measure with Senator Menendez across the aisle, um, and, and there was a move on Capitol Hill, and you've got a lot of co-sponsors and signed on to this measure in the Senate that would beef up sanctions for Iran. Uh, the White House threatened to veto right. it at the time. Do you think you'll be able to move forward with it now? Will Harry Reid, the Senate Majority Leader, bring that to a vote? With the, uh, with the uh, extension of time, we ought to bring back the Menendez-Kirk sanctions that were the entire reason for the Iranians to be at the table. Even the President agrees that the congressional sanctions were the key motivation for the Iranians. How worried are you about what they're going to do with the extra time they have? They, they will likely make a nuclear weapon with the extra time. And if the United States grants any further time and doesn't put, put in face effective non-military sanctions to make sure that the Iranians have a strong motivation to uh, end their nuclear program, this will likely end with nuclear weapons in uh, the hands of the terrorist state of uh, the Islamic Republic of Iran. If that is true, then why isn't the administration, why aren't the others in the P5 plus 1 talks uh, more adamant about shutting things down right now? Why give them four more months if they also believe, as you do, it's going to lead to a nuclear weapon in the hands of Iranian leaders? The administration right now is way too weak. Uh, one thing that hasn't been shown is the administration re recently released $2.8 billion back to the uh, Iranians. I would say the Iranian uh, participation in these uh, talks have been uh, renting the Iranian side uh, and, uh, it, uh, by releasing uh, billions of dollars back. The administration has already issued uh, about 50 years worth of uh, payments to uh, Iran that would cover their payments to Hezbollah. Well, um, there are a lot of folks out there across the world questioning the decision to do that and to give the Iranians access to those restricted assets. Um, we will continue to watch the measure that you have uh, in the Senate. And, sir, we thank you very much for joining us today, Senator Mark Kirk. Thank you. Thank you for having me on.